Today, the governor is releasing what he calls preliminary guidelines on what could be possible, including indoor graduations. But that would come with some limitations. 12 years you've waited for this, and you want to see something happen that's that feels good at the end of the day. To say Essence Baylor is excited might be an understatement. The Monacan High School cheerleader is preparing to graduate. Baylor attended a close friend's graduation in Chesterfield last year at the height of the pandemic. He walked across the stage. He had to pick up his diploma off of the table. Like nobody, you couldn't shake anybody's hand, like a congratulations or a hug or anything. And then you took a picture and you walked out to school. It was like a five minute, five minute stops. In Henrico. Julia Carell. Yay! Schools there also had to get creative. What we did last year was a victory lap around the track at Richmond Raceway. Graduates and families stayed in their car and drove around the track while the teachers from the school lined the track and waved flags. There's a chance things could look somewhat like normal this time around. Wednesday, Governor Northam said schools can hold indoor ceremonies as long as there are no more than 500 people or 30 percent capacity. Ceremonies can also be held outdoors with up to 5,000 people or 30 percent capacity. In either case, masks and social distancing would be required. This year, we're looking to do something different, something that is more closely resembles the traditional graduation ceremony where we can come together in a safe manner. I hope that I can at least have six tickets just for my mom and my dad and my grandparents or both sides to come and just see how hard I worked my 12 years just for this moment under these circumstances. Now I checked around for you. Here's what we're hearing so far. Petersburg plans to actually consider that indoor graduation concept. Henrico says theirs will likely be outdoors. Richmond plans to keep it virtual with an option for grads to pick up their diplomas. Live in Richmond on your side, Brent Solomon, NBC 12.